When someone comes across an insect, most people are disgusted and immediately turn their minds to giving the room a good clean. You wouldn't lick your lips or feel a sudden sense of hunger, would you? In this big world of ours, there are unbelievably insects which are edible and tasty enough to plate up and serve in a restaurant. Although, they would surely startle a few. From the sweet honey pot ant to the citrusy lemon ant, here are 15 tasty insects you can eat. Number 15. Honey Pot Ants When you think of what an ant might taste like, the last thing you'd think of is honey. Well, for the honey pot ant, that is exactly the case. To get their sweet taste, these little critters binge on a sizable amount of nectar and honey for the good of the colony, even if their waistband takes a hit. These self-sacrificing ants are used as storage units full of nectar and honey that the colony can consume when they need. The honeypot ants simply binge on the food until their abdomens swell to the size of a grape. After this, these ants, called repletes, just sit back on a large sofa and digest the sweet food, right? Wrong! The bloated honeypot ants then waddle over to other members of the colony and feed the workers through regurgitating this yummy, semi-digested mixture into the workers' mouths, like some sort of mother bird to its hungry young. Pretty disgusting, right? Imagine being at work and for a lunch break, instead of a packed lunch or something from the supermarket, your coworker just throws up into your throat. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. Lemon Ants. The Myrmelachista schumanni, or lemon ants for those not a fan of tongue twisters, unsurprisingly taste of lemons. But they also pack a deadly poison that would send chills down the spines of any gardener. Found in the South American jungle, these little ants generate and release their own herbicide and kill off all the nearby plants. The only plants spared from this chemical warfare are the Doroya hirsuta, in which the lemon ants live. I guess it wouldn't be the smartest thing to destroy your home. This herbicide or formic acid is also used by ants to give their bite an extra kick. But for the lemon ants, the presence of this acid has the rather peculiar effect of making the ants taste lemony. But why do they go through all this trouble just to protect their residence tree, the Doroya hirsuta? Surely they could just move into any tree. Well, that's not exactly true. The Doroya hirsuta is perfect for the lemon ants due to their hollow branches which are perfect for protection against hazardous weather conditions. If you ever find yourself in a forest near one of these trees, then simply snap off a branch and you'll be greeted by plenty of busy ants. Simply pick one up and pop them in your mouth and your taste buds will quickly be filled with the sweet taste of the popular citrus fruit. Nature is a truly wild place. Number 13. Silkworm. Would you eat a worm? No? Are you sure? Even if it tasted of shrimp and crab and had crazy health benefits for those that eat it? The caterpillar of the Bombyx mori, or silk moth, is a primary producer of silk. Silk is a very useful fiber needed in the production of everything from clothing to tires to even parachutes. Silkworms prefer grub to munch on in their downtime in between making silk on the leaves of the white mulberry tree. South Koreans, on the other hand, eat silkworms. 
You heard that right. Whilst this might not sound like the most conventional thing to snack on, these silkworms are actually a great source of protein. And their health benefits certainly don't stop there. These little worms pack a punch. By eating them, they help to reduce fatigue, prevent Alzheimer's disease, minimize the occurrence of diabetes, and even help to keep muscles stronger. Silkworms are certainly a superfood. I never would have guessed. They also don't taste too bad either, with them silkworms reportedly tasting of crab or lobster. This probably shouldn't come as too much of a surprise as crab, crayfish, and lobster, all considered delicacies in the US, are close relatives of insects, including silkworms. Next time you fancy a protein shake, maybe reach for a handful of silkworms instead. Number 12. Cockroaches. Cockroaches have been around for about 280 million years. They're certainly known for their durability, although the myth that they can survive a nuclear blast was recently proven false. But who would have known they would taste so good to snack on? Of course, you need to keep them on a diet of fresh fruits and vegetables for a while to get any gunk out of their digestive system. It takes around 48 hours for this detoxing process to be complete, but after that, they are ready to be toasted, fried, sautéed, or boiled to perfection. Apparently, cockroaches have a taste and texture of greasy chicken. Who would have thought an insect, which can live several days without a head, would taste like chicken? I'm not exactly sure I want to taste one to find out, to be honest. However, there's a huge market for the buying and selling of cockroaches, particularly in Asian countries. As well as human consumption, these bugs have been used for medicinal purposes, as animal feed, and to get rid of food waste. Did you know that cockroaches are actually cannibals? When numbers get too high and food is too scarce, these critters feed on their own as a means of food supply and population control. Very gnarly. Number 11. Weaver Ants One of the most prized types of insects eaten by humans on the entire planet is the weaver ant. If you don't believe me, just have a glance at the cost of weaver ant larvae in northeastern Thailand being twice the price of good quality beef. That should tell you all you need to know about how highly they are viewed in certain parts of the world. The pricing madness doesn't stop there, however. In a single Thai province, there are 620,000 US dollars worth of ant larvae that are harvested every year. I would never have guessed ant larvae would be such a lucrative market. Weaver ants are high in protein and fatty acids, and of course, edible for humans. They're not just barely edible either, with the ants apparently tasting really sweet and even almost fruity in flavor. A fruity tasting ant sounds like something that's managed to escape from the experiment room at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. If only the ants in my garden tasted so good. Number 10. Cicadas. The last thing you'd think about is dietary requirements when sinking your teeth into an insect. But if you're gluten intolerant and love the taste of insects, then the shrimp-sized cicadas are here to help your hungry needs. These beady-eyed bugs are gluten-free, mainly due to them not feasting on wheat. They're also high in protein, low in fat, and low in carbohydrates. So from the sounds of things, they sound like the perfect diet insect tad to your meal prep. If you're thinking about getting your hands on some, then listen up. Apparently, the trick is to grab these insects when they emerge from the earth in the east of the United States. Grabbing them when they're freshly emerging from the ground and in a molting stage, which basically means that they're shedding their skin as they get ready to fly off and find a mate, is the easiest way to harvest them. Think of it as fast food. Except in this case, you'll need to be fast or you'll have no food. What's next? Carnivorous cows? Number 9. Sago grubs. Sago grubs are the larvae of a beetle called the Capricorn beetle, 
and believe it or not, they taste of oysters. The plump grubs are only about 4 centimeters long, but their white and plump body with a dark brown head is full of plenty of goodies. Inside this creamy yellow belly is rich in protein content which bursts in your mouth when you chew down on it. While this sounds like an eating challenge on a television show, these giant maggot looking things are very popular items despite them costing a pretty hefty 25 US cents each. If you want to try one of these seafood tasting grubs, then you can prepare them in many ways. They can be smoked, fried, or even roasted over a fire on a skewer. Most of the flavor comes from the cooking method, so if you want your pus-filled bugs to taste meatier, then just fry them in oil or bacon fat for some added taste to cover up the fact that you're essentially eating a maggot. Personally, the thought of a bug's insides bursting is enough to put me off. Number 8. Zebra Tarantula A zebra mixed with a tarantula might sound like a science experiment gone wrong, but they're just a variety of tarantula that many consider being a great snack. Whilst it might be hard to imagine such a hairy and fearsome critter tasting so good, the people of Cambodia would definitely disagree. When rolled in sugar or garlic and then deep fried, the zebra tarantula is sold to the hungry masses by street vendors who adore the snack. This might sound like a gross thing to eat for Westerners, but the eating of the zebra tarantula has deep roots in Cambodian history. On April 17, 1975, 2.5 million Phnom Penh residents were cast out of the Cambodian city by the militaristic and communist Pol Pot-led Khmer Rouge who overthrew the government. Life was bleak and food supplies were low. In stepped the zebra tarantula. With it only taken around 10 minutes to capture and cook a spider, their high protein, folic acid, and zinc contents filled the bellies of many Cambodians in their time of need. I suppose when you put it that way, it's quite easy to see why they are so appreciative of the hairy eight-legged insect. Does anyone know if they come in a hairless version? Number 7. Giant Water Bugs the giant water bug is a real character of a bug. They're a popular snack in Thailand and regarded as a tasty appetizer in Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. Like most insects, they're a great source of protein and vitamins. I'm starting to wonder when the trend for fitness fanatics to start binging on insects will begin. Quite hilariously, if a giant water bug feels as if it's under threat, it will lay on its back and play dead. Not only that, but they've also been known to secrete a fluid from their anus to make themselves seem less appealing. Disgusting. That would surely put you off going in for a bite. These insects don't just lie on their back all day. In their natural habitat, they are fierce predators. Much like a praying mantis, the giant water bug snatches its prey with its front legs and gruesomely injects it with a powerful toxin which breaks down the internal mass of its victim. Yikes. Humans should also keep an eye out for these bugs, as they have been known to deliver a rather painful bite to humans as well. So much so that giant water bugs have been referred to as toe biters in the US as they frequently bite the toes of swimmers. Their bites are nothing to joke about, as they result in a painful burning sensation inflicted on their victim. Giant water bugs make great snacks, not so great swimming partners. Number 6. Crickets Crickets and grasshoppers can be found in pretty much any green space, whether that be your local park or your own garden. If you forget your lunch next time you head to the park, then why not just scoop up a grasshopper out of the grass? I mean, they are edible and rich in protein. If you prefer not getting yourself covered in mud or having to pick the legs of the critters out of your teeth, then you could always go for some store-bought crickets. Often, crickets come in a powder which can be easily used in baking as a substitute for flour. With a slightly nutty flavor and a very high protein count, they've also been alleged to increase healthy gut bacteria and reduce inflammation in the body. In Cambodia, but that was in a restaurant. This one 
is as you can. Just make sure you cook the critters as they carry the parasitic nematode. Parasites are bad to consume if you haven't heard. Now, whenever you hear a cricket or a grasshopper making a noise in the long grass grow louder, it'll sound like a snack getting closer, just like the sound of an ice cream truck coming down the road on a hot summer's day. Number five, wood lice. Wood lice are insects often found burrowed inside dead wood or anywhere dark and damp. They may have many nicknames such as sow bugs, potato bugs, roly polies, or pill bugs. But do you want to know a secret? They're not actually a bug at all. Wood lice are actually terrestrial crustaceans and the only of its kind in the whole of North America. These unique crustaceans have 14 legs and don't taste too bad either, apparently. That is, if you like the taste of shrimp. They taste so much like their sea friends that they've even been referred to as land shrimp. As long as they are cooked properly, wood lice are safe and actually very nutritious. Some of you might find this next part disgusting, but interesting nevertheless. With wood lice, you can almost immediately begin preparing them for consumption when you find them lurking in the undergrowth. Whereas you can't do this with slugs and snails, as you need to put them in a plastic bag for 24 hours to let their guts empty. Yuck, you would definitely have to throw away that bag afterwards. Number four, June bug. Codinus natida, also known as the June bug, is a beetle of the family Scarabeidae found in the eastern United States and Canada. They're also a lot tastier than they may at first sound. The adult is usually 15 to 22 millimeters in length with dull, metallic wings and sides of gold and heads, legs, and undersides of very bright green. They also cause a considerable amount of damage through feeding on foliage and flowers at night. These bugs are used for baiting fish and are, indeed, edible for humans too. With a crunchy and unique taste, they make for a great protein and calcium rich snack. If you're looking to impress, I would recommend preparing the bug by salting and drying your June bug to make them a great addition to any soup. Kind of like an insect crouton. Or you could just sit them atop a rice dish for added flavor. Bon appetit. I'm no chef, but that sounds pretty tasty. That is, if you can get past the fact that you're biting into a beetle and not let it ruin your meal. Number three, earthworms. Worms are usually only consumed by children as they thrash about in the dirt, much to the annoyance of onlooking parents. However, some adults in the world believe them to be a tasty snack also. In southern Venezuela, the Yekuana people are big fans of the earthworm, for example. They harvest the worms from the mud around streams or through digging them up from the floor of the highland forest. Once they've gathered enough wriggly friends, they head back to begin the cooking process. After a simple prep of gutting and boiling the worms, they are ready to be feasted on. When smoked, the worms sell for an astounding three times that of other smoked meats by weight. These worms taste very earthy, which is no surprise given that it is what they consume and are named after. If you fancy going for a snack, then be sure to remember to squish out the poop before you eat them. Maybe give them a rinse in water too while you're at it. Don't want any poo ruining your worm meal. Never thought I'd say that sentence. A general rule of thumb, by the way. Bugs tend to taste shockingly similar to their diet. I wonder if there's anything called a jelly bean bug or chocolate sundae stick insect. I definitely don't want to try a dung beetle. Number two, migratory locust. Migratory locusts are tyrannical insects, with locust swarms devastating crops and causing major agricultural damage in over 60 countries around the world to this day. This damage can lead to famine and starvation, making it no surprise that the insects have managed to develop a bad reputation stretching right back to the Old Testament and the plagues of Egypt. 
but while some see them as a nuisance, others view them as a snack with wings that have a nutty, shrimp-like taste. Like most insects, locusts are packed with protein, but their nutritional benefits far from finish there. Found in Africa, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand, the locust is one of the most effective stimulants in treating rheumatism and back pain. They also help treat delayed growth in children and are an effective sexual stimulant especially for the elderly. They may be hard to catch, however, with their ability to jump 20 times the length of their body not helping things. If you'd rather have them as a questionable junk food substitute, then why not deep fry or even dip the grasshopper-like insects in melted chocolate? Doesn't sound half bad, to be honest. Number 1. Termite Queens You've heard of Beyonce, the queen bee, but what about the queen termite? A queen termite is a large caterpillar which makes its home in a termite nest. They are extremely rare, with many seasoned termite hunters never coming across one throughout their long careers. <sighs> They are held in such esteem that they are only deemed acceptable to eat on special occasions. For example, termite queens are given to malnourished children in Zambia and also to ill people in Cameroon. The list of benefits to the human body after consuming a termite queen is extensive. They're a great source of protein and are allegedly excellent at reducing cholesterol, help with the growth and development of children, great for your prostate, great for your back pain, and for the maintenance of healthy bones. The royals of Yoruba in Benin regularly eat termite queens in order to cultivate a reverence for themselves among their people. Also, among the Haya of Tanzania and the Ganda of Uganda, not only do termite queens taste great, but they're also seen in some parts as an important part of the diet and life of a leader. Who would have known a termite could be so important? Has your opinion of insects changed? Which of these insects sound the tastiest to you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!